A solemn message from the Lord to all the sheepfold of Jesus Reviant from all over the world. International Group of Evangelization Jesus Reviant Transcribed Prophecy Received by a Sister Shalom Shalom Papa, I hope you are doing well. After the service, once I got home after my little needs, I went into the presence of the Lord and the Holy Spirit seized me, here is what He revealed to me in prophecy for you and His church. Thus says the Lord Jesus Christ your God. I am the one who clothed the trees of the forests. Am I not He who covers the birds with many feathers? Am I not the one who created the flowers in the bush with many colors and patterns? Look at the animals in the forest, the antelopes, the zebras, and the giraffes, isn't I who designed their patterns? Why do you want to put yourself on a new yoke again? Why do you want to carry religious burdens that the children of Israel could not even keep? Why do you want to carry a burden that does not belong to you? My sound doctrine is not a religion. Do not turn my doctrine into carnal religious precepts. If someone thinks it's a good idea to wear more than one color, so let it be. If someone finds it good to wear only one color, he has not sinned. If someone finds it good to wear only one color, he has not sinned. But let this not be a doctrinal matter to the point of troubling the faith of the great number of my children whom I have set free from the bondage of the rudiments of this world. Those who wear plain tones are not more holy before me than those who do not. My servants have already taught you all these things from the very beginning. Just be careful of satanic patterns in clothing. I'm not burdening you with any other strange yoke. I want to see you simple, decent and holy inside and out. Plain clothes add nothing to your spiritual life or to your salvation. Just walk according to my precepts and don't add anything new except what I've written in my word taught to you by my servants. For the rest, each one will be paid according to his deeds, at heaven's gate. Concerning the women who stand on my altar to teach in my church, I have already told you everything, and I will not change my word. I watch over my word. During my ministry, I had many very brave and zealous women around me, but I had appointed none of them to be my apostle. I have created man and I have created woman, and I know what I have placed in each of you. Aren't you surprised that women show more gifts than men? Yes, because I did it to support men's ministries. But women have no right to the ministry of authority in my church. If you see people being stubborn, remember my words in. Matthew 7 verses 22-24 Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. My word is your guide, my word is your light, my word is your pillar. If you neglect it, it is by it that you will be judged. No one will be judged by revelations, prophecies or miracles unless they are based on my word. That's why I told you to be radical and firmly rooted in my sound doctrine. The flesh's interpretations cannot alter it. My word is spirit and life, and through it you will enter my kingdom. So keep it and seal it in your heart. I have always warned you against false doctrines, but you are so easy to manipulate, so easy to forget my recommendations. I have said in my word. Read. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, believe in not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Go back and listen to the messages I gave you at the beginning of this revival. I told you about the false revivals, the so-called holiness, the apparent sound doctrine that will arise to confuse you and seduce the weakest. But when it doesn't come from me, by investigating them through my scriptures, you'll see the flaws for yourselves. I didn't tell you to fathom spirits by pretending to be powerful. The evil one has always seduced by these things. 
And I also warned you in Matthew 24 verse 24. For there shall arise false Christs, and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. If it's a miracle you want, you'll find it even in the darkness, but these miracles can't save you. Many of these miracles are done in exchange for your souls. If you're looking for fast healing, quick deliverance and easy miracles, the enemy knows what to do to satisfy you. But he can never attract you with the truth. For there is no truth in him. He doesn't stand in truth. In him is the mark of deception. But you, my sheep of this revival, you are my miracles of this generation. And I have sealed my truth in you. Whoever loves the truth will follow you and will not be confused. For my word is transparent in you. Remember from where I sought you and gathered you. And the enemy has always struggled to scatter you, and I have always kept you in the hollow of my hands. Only the sons of perdition are captured because they do not pay attention to my warnings. But you are mine and I am yours. My covenant with you will not be revoked. But fear me. I have told my servant that he will go through many waters, but I will always be with him, as I have said in my word. Isaiah 43 verse 2 when thou passeest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. I'm personally waiting for you at the gateway of heaven to welcome you. I'm coming to get you, and you'll see me as I am. When you will be with me, you will be transformed into the heavenly race and you will be like me. My race is holiness. When you walk in holiness, you are of my race. I created all human races. I am the God of all races and I have no discrimination and no favorite race. You are all my children, white, black, yellow or red. Your soul is more valuable than the color of your skin. That's why I shed my blood to save you. And the blood I shed is the same color as what I put inside you. You don't have blood of different colors for I see you in the same way. What I want from you is to walk in sanctification away from the rudiments of this depraved world, and you will be called of the race of heaven which is holiness. Read my word in. 1 Peter 2 verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. I want you to multiply your evangelization programs all over the world, because many people still don't know me. But I want everyone to know the work I did for them on the cross. Preach on everything that is useful, repentance, sanctification, stripping, and I will dispose the hearts that need me to listen to you. Know that darkness wins more of my souls for hell than you do for heaven. So invade the streets, the markets, the public squares, the traffic lights and announce my word. Announce my return. You are the last sign I have raised on earth. There will be no other signs. For all signs have come to pass. Look to the east and the west, and you will see that everything is ready. The Antichrist is ready to make his entrance and unleash his wrath on the human race. But as long as my spirit is still present on earth, he can do nothing. That's why he's angry, to prevent as many as possible from accepting the truth and being saved. Today he has corrupted more than 90% of preaching. My gospel is deluded to prevent souls from being touched to be saved. The gospel of prosperity, the gospel of personal development and the gospel of good omens have supplanted the gospel of the cross I carried. They will pay for their works. But you make me proud. Do not fear the scorn of the unbelievers. They have not changed since their fathers. If they have hated me, they will hate you, if they have persecuted me, they will persecute you. I see your pain when you sow for me and the enemy comes every time to plunder and devour. But the time is coming when he will no longer be able to plunder. 
For I am preparing new things and my flock will be overflowing with my sheep, in safety. So stay focused on the goal and the roadmap I've given you. Have you thought about the bus this year? But I gave it to you. Have you thought about the instruments? But I gave it to you. Did you think about so many weddings in so little time? But I gave you. For you are my joy on earth today. Persevere and I will bring you to the dimension of excellence. But watch your hearts and never let yourselves be corrupted by the folly of grandeur, greed, covetousness, and pride. Be simple in your nature. Humility precedes glory. The more I see you humble, the more I will raise you up. I am preparing new lands for you to go and establish my doctrine and baptize my sheep. Those who have left the flock, I will reveal myself to my people to bring them back. Do not blame them when they return. Welcome them as I welcome the prodigal son. Work with the shepherds established over the small flocks and teach them to be more vigilant in protecting the flock. This war is not yours, for it is spiritual. But I will fight for you, and you keep silent. Never be surprised by hatreds, jealousies, scorns, plots, betrayals and blasphemies against you. This is the greatest sign that you are from me and that you are on the right path. John 15 verse 20 to 21 Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Since I instigated this revival, if threats could kill you so easily, none of you would still be alive. So in the face of threats and curses of every kind, multiply them by zero and move on. I give all kinds of signs to your detractors to prove to them that you are mine, but they don't want to repent, because of unbelief and the hardness of their hearts. But they won't be able to resist the stings. None of your hair will fall out. To my servant Jean Gradian, I have a surprise for him. And he will see that I know his difficulties and his pains. The good worker deserves his wages. Another agent of the evil one is preparing to come and disturb the revival, but be vigilant. Inform my servant Cephas of Kedau that, he's my evangelist, I'm proud of him, I strengthen him, I see the heart he puts into my work and I bless him. Tell him to be vigilant because the devil wants to send him one of his agents so he can scatter, sow tares, and seduce him. Let him stand firm and he will flee from him. His reward will be great if he remains obedient and faithful to me. I love you and I leave you my peace. Rejoice, for I have overcome the spirit of death that surrounds you. I set you free. My grace is sufficient for you. The mouth of Jesus Christ has spoken to his church. Receive the television channel Jesus Reviant TV on a strong decoder or any other decoder that broadcasts free channels, Amos 17 Satellite. Welcome to the family of saints.